I got a secret I want to share with you. I got a secret, my nigga, okay? <coughs> but I don't want you telling. I don't want you telling them YouTube niggas. I don't want you telling them new them YouTube niggas, okay? So this is a, this is secrets between you and me. You know what I'm saying? Justin TV niggas, we cool. We cool. This is our this is our secret. We gonna keep this our secret, okay? Okay, cool. All right. Okay. So you know I was making a walkthrough for um, Persona 3 about a year ago, just under a year ago, yeah? And I got so far into it and it stopped. I, I put it on hold. Well, I went to go play Persona 3 the other day, okay? But I accidentally like broke the disc. <laughs> so, I ordered a new one in uh, from Amazon that's coming tomorrow morning. Now, when I finish college tomorrow, which will be about half two over here in the afternoon, I'm going to get that disc, I'm going to whack it in my PS2, okay? I'm going to hook up my PS2 to all of my my um, recording software and hardware, and, <gasps> and here's the secret, I don't want you telling the secret, I'm going to start making walkthroughs again. <sighs> Oh my god, rah! I know, right? And basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to remake Persona 3. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but yeah. Do not tell YouTube niggas. Don't tell them. Because, honestly, I haven't gone on my YouTube page in god knows how long. I went on it once, like a week ago. Like for literally a few seconds because there was like some drama llamas. Like they're like Snake doesn't care about us. <laughs> Snake is just a dick. He is changed. Nigga changed. He don't care about us no more. <laughs> I was I was um I was just getting my seven chuckles, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my, I was getting my seven laughs and I was like, Oh no I was just I was just having some fun with it. Um because it was pretty hilarious to see people who have no idea who I am what's going on in my life, what I'm having to do, and why I haven't been doing YouTube a lot. And they think I don't care, and they think that um, that I've changed, and things like that. And I haven't changed at all. Nothing's changed. I'm still me. People who are with me in, um, people who are watching me play, um, uh, Abe's Odyssey earlier today, can, I'm pretty sure you can safely say, from watching me play Abe's Odyssey today, have I changed? Come on now. Come on. I haven't. I ain't changed it all. I'm still me. That's why, like, Snake never changes. That's why I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Snake never changes. Hell yeah. But yeah. Um. Basically, the only thing that has changed is my free time. I haven't had as much free time. Therefore, I haven't made. I haven't been able to make videos. And because of that, apparently, that makes me. A bad guy, oh no. The only reason I was able to make loads of videos, like literally on a daily basis, I'm talking like back during fucking Fatal Frame, Fatal Frame 2 days, when we had Silent Hill 2 days, that's what I'm talking about, those kind of days. I literally had nothing going on in my life at all. YouTube was the only thing I had going on in my life, like anything. The only thing I had to look forward to. So, that's the only reason why I had a lot of time to do that then. Ah, that was scolding hot. Oh my god, fucking tea. Oh, oh, fucking tea bag, my nigga. I just had to spoon it out with my hand and throw it in the bin. Fuck. Alright, but yeah. Uh, anyway. The thing is, um. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit. Uh, how do I put this? I'm gonna get a little bit. We're gonna have a bit of a story time right now before I go on to do like any of our of our uh, broadcasts and stuff. Anyway, I uh, I think for you to understand some of the things, just to basically how I operate, I've got to let you in on some things. Okay, so back when I started, um, <laughs> just everyone all gather around a campfire and whoo. <laughs> <coughs> the fucking lights start dimming. Okay. Back when I started um, walkthroughs, 
um, I, I, re um, how do I put this? It was about three years ago, and when I started, I, it was literally a few days after my first serious relationship breakup, and I was really sad, you know, because I wasn't told why we broke up or anything like that, you know, it was my, it was my, like a nigga, I want to go, and she just left, and I was like, oh no, and sad and stuff, and, but instead of deciding to be all self-destructive, and, um, or just negative in general, I wanted to, um, not change, but make people aware of who I am. I felt like I wanted people to understand. So, I created this persona, and this persona's name was Snake, and Snake was, ev Snake is everything that I've always wanted to be. Snake is, he's eccentric, Snake is, Snake doesn't give a fuck. Snake is, he's the man, basically. He's, you want a question, Snake will answer it. You having a bad time, Snake will fix it. He, is, he has this aura of him that <laughs> no matter what is going on, it's so positive and so strong that it can shake any negative vibe for me snake is Lee snake is the real Lee but in life we're constantly faced with situations be it in our lifestyle um, certain events happening within our life or our perceptions on things that can lead us to acting, thinking, saying, just do, just being someone who we, who isn't 100% us. And I didn't like that. I didn't like the idea of constantly living life of have, uh, and having to compromise of who I am. Because some people couldn't handle it. Not like that, oh, he's too, he's too crazy for us. More like they didn't understand. They're more like, oh, he's so eccentric, so crazy, you know, therefore he... He must have this, he, may, he must be like this, you know, people are quick to judge. And I didn't like that, so I decided to say, fuck it, I'm going to live my life freely, how I want to, I'm going to be me, I'm going to make people aware of who I really am, and who I really am is Snake. Snake is Lee, Lee is Snake. They're not different, they're not acts, they are the same. <laughs> <coughs> and looking, just looking at that in general, you someone could say, "Well, that sounds like you have split personality." So, no, no, it's not that at all. It's just that uh, you, when you're, it's easier to portray yourself as the real you for a persona of you, <laughs> if you get me. You can't just say, "I'm this one day and I'm like that the other day." You know, it doesn't work like that. You know. So, um, that's why I made psychedelic snake because I wanted to be me I wanted to find that um, we're constantly looking we're constantly looking for doors looking for windows going through doors that lead to different pathways seeing whether or not they're going to work and everything like that and every door branches off to different doors and I decided to make a door simply to be free and snake was freedom is freedom so I decided to be snake <coughs> and um, as I started this walkthrough thing I decided to make walkthroughs because I like playing games I like talking a lot <laughs> I'm always like duck, 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 duck. I always want to I always want to give my opinion on something or turn something into a pun or you know anything. I like talking. I like conversing. So I thought, hey, walkthroughs of commentary, that's the perfect thing. Playing games and talking while you're doing it, what could be better? So I did that. And it was great, you know? I started off with I Wanna Be The Guy, I got really angry with it. I thought, I want something solid. Something that, at the time, I whenever we start off in life we start off small 
The problem nowadays, though, is that we're so used to having things instantly, you know? We have things delivered to our door. We are able to get fast food. You know, just order, gone, done. Uh, we're able to just rent a car and go. We're, we're able to do anything through simply thinking of it, pretty much. People have forgotten the idea of grinding to get where they gotta be, the idea of working, of putting in effort and time to getting where they wanna be. People wanna take some bullshit love compatibility test and find their true match, the person they wanna spend a life with instantaneously. They don't wanna put in the time or effort on making bonds, they just want them to instantly be there. But I'm not that kind of person. I'm someone who takes pride in the time and effort it takes for something to form. And so I decided I wanted an audience, not because I wanted fame, but because I wanted people to know who I am. So I said to myself, what can I do to get my name out there? And I didn't want to go for that whole, subscribe to me, blah blah blah, and just post it on loads of popular people's channels. Instead, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something courageous, in my own way. A lot of people have their own perceptions on what courageous is, and I had my own idea of it. When I started YouTube, Metal Gear Solid 4 was coming out literally like a month after. It came out June the 12th, and I got it, completed it the first day, because I, I loved it. And it hit me, because I was still making I Want to Be the Guy when I was playing it, and it hit me. As soon as, I credit, as, soon as those credits rolled, I thought, Wow, if I recorded myself making a big boss rank walkthrough and be the first ever person to make a big boss rank walkthrough in the world and post it, I'm pretty sure I could get noticed. And that's exactly what I did. The day after, I set it all up, and I lied. I did lie. I said, I think I recall at the beginning of my walkthrough, I say something like, I've already got the big boss emblem. I lied. I don't. I didn't. This was my first time playing big, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 on Big Boss Rank, but I was having to act, talk, as if I knew what was going to happen, like as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't, but still I bullshitted it, and I got it. I got the Big Boss Rank emblem, and I was so happy with myself. <laughs> I deceived everyone, like a snake. Anyway, and it did exactly what I wanted it to do. It got me noticed. And people started to follow me. People started to thank me. People started to value me. They would look forward to my content. They would look forward to um, me simply being me, you know? And that's what, pe that's what I wanted in life. People to be excited about me being me, you know? They accepted me. And that's what drove me to keep making walkthroughs, was that they were so damn happy simply for being me and doing what I do. And so afterwards, I wanted to find my calling in walkthroughs. I was like, okay, yeah, so I made a big bus rank campaign, but what is, good, what is my speciality going to be? What am I going to do that... I prefer doing with walkthroughs because walkthroughs can branch off to so many different things. It can branch off to like strategies. It can branch off to like um, different ways of doing things. It could branch off to 100% uh, uh, completion story walkthroughs. You know anything. I wanted to find what I was really good at. So I decided why are, are the kind of games that I really enjoy doing, and I loved doing horror games. Uh, my horror game collection is by far the biggest out of all my collection. Actually, it's my only collection in terms of games, except for my, me my Metal Gear Solid collection. And so, I decided to make Resident Evil Remake, a Chris walkthrough. And I thought, this will be the walkthrough that will either make or break my decision for wanting to go down the horror route in terms of walkthroughing. And so I played, I played, um, I played, uh, uh, um, Uncharted? <laughs> I was gonna say Uncharted, um, Resident Evil Remake. And, uh, people loved it. They, they, they loved how scared I was, how 
it, how into it, how how immersed I was, and and how I was able to, um, how do I put it? Just make them feel like they're a part of what was going on. Like it wasn't them watching someone's work; it was them being a part of my work. And that's the one thing that I have taken from my career, I guess you can call it that, my career as a YouTuber or whatever, is that among, I've studied a lot of um, walkthroughers, and I can safely say, 9 out of 10 walkthroughers, I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't like, because that's mean and judgmental, I just don't, I'm not interested in, because a lot of them are very into the whole wanting to be recognized solely for fame, a lot of them want to be, uh, you know, how do I put it, a, a, a lot of them are just trying to be someone that they're not f solely for the fame, and or for money, you know, for, for um, the sponsorship and things like that, and I, I don't, I, I, I don't agree with things like that, so I said no to, to walk through words, I don't watch walkthroughs. I get bored of them, honestly, which is kind of weird. But that's what I really like about what I've done because I feel like I've created. I am the inventor of something. I hold the key to something. And when you can honestly say that about you as a person and what you've done with your life, it's a very, very big accomplishment. At least for me. I can safely say that I have created a style of video making that may have inspired hundreds of people maybe to maybe do the same and put their own kind of twist into it. And what I mean by my own style of things is, is that I made my viewers a part of a journey. It wasn't just you watching me go through things. It was you and me going through so many different journeys, so many different uh, roller coaster rides of, of 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 happy times and sad times and oh my god times and you know things like that. And that's 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 um that's what I've really uh, what I really cherish about what I've done with YouTube is that uh, I've kind of made my audience the main part of um, my videos uh, a lot of people like when it comes to the, uh, my favorite part oh what's this get new version yes do it Rawr. the new um the whenever I upload like an ending video to um, uh, a walkthrough like say last video to uh, Silent Hill or um, Fatal Frame people I always there's always a flood of comments of people who are really really overjoyed and feel like that they've just come to an end of a really special thing in their life and that is really special to me and that's what I always looked forward to the most whenever I made a walkthrough I always looked forward to the ending because it was always such a special time and people just people igno people were aware of it people were really really uh just I don't know overwhelmed I think you could say overwhelmed by uh what we accomplished that's it we finished a journey we you know we achieved something it wasn't just simply watching a game being played out it was you and me on a journey and stuff and that's what I really liked about my style of video making and it's it's that what drove me to keep on keep on doing it because every time I started a new journey a new walkthrough I was really psyched because oh wow this is totally different um, because it was just people started to realize that uh, no I don't want to do that uh, set my homepage no people start to realize that um, when we start a new walkthrough we were getting prepared to do something to, to embark on an, a new journey that would you know 
be a roller coaster of happy times and sad times and you know it, people were really excited for it because it was an adventure and uh, that that's why I, that's why I loved most about video well, about walkthroughing and um, that's why I was so religious to it I was so dedicated to it because I I needed it you know I, I needed the whole uh, being accepted, being valued, and um, being a reason, being a reason, sorry, not the reason, being a reason, one of many reasons for people to be happy with their life, you know, they could come back after a really hard day or something and look forward to, you know, kicking back and go and being immersed into an adventure which they are a part of, you know. So that's that that's um one of the main reasons why I was so like, you know, video, 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 video all the time because I I really wanted people to, you know, constantly know, find out what happens in the next step of our journey, you know. Okay, now that's the end of a chapter. That was the beginning. And Mill. Now what happens when you become famous to some extent when you didn't want to become famous instead you just wanted to be known you know you wanted people to at least know who you are if 10 20 30 people knew who I was and enjoyed the things I did I'd be really happy with that but no instead it was every day you know another 50 you know or something like that and every other month it would creep up by a thousand or so and that's a, that's a, you know, it's easy to say a thousand people but try and picture a thousand people it's really big <laughs> and it's way over my head um because when you get a lot of people you get a diversity uh you get a variation in in ideals in opinions, morals, and general aims, objectives, goals in general. So it quickly shifted from us being in this kind of like close knit community where we embarked on really epic journeys to Snake, when's the next video this? When's the next why won't you continue this? Snake, 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 do this, do this, do that, make me happy, make me happy, make me happy, make me happy. I need, need, need. And I was like, whoa. You know? It was, it was, uh, it suddenly became, there was suddenly a demand, a high demand for the things I did, which at first I was happy about. I was like, oh wow, people are really, really wanting to see me do this, but it was it after like you know just just some general observation of my channel my community and how we've adapted and grown um it was made clear that the people most people that they weren't asked they were <laughs> they weren't demanding for content because they were craving to find out what happens next in our journey they were craving content because they were craving content they just became dependent on having a video regardless of what it was whatever it was it would be a video that would make them happy and I didn't like that <coughs> and so I decided to go into hiding in a way to just take a step back because I figured that the people who knew the real me and what Snake really stood for and what he really wanted people would understand why I stopped for a, for a brief time people would understand why I took a break and they'd respect it even if they didn't understand it they'd respect it <coughs> And then, of course, you get the, where's Snake gone? Why hasn't he been on? Where's, where's the next part of this? Do, do, do. He's left us. 
Why is he dead or something? What's going on? He doesn't care about us no more. Snake's changed. Why isn't he posting videos? He's a bad guy. He's a dick. He don't care about us anymore. He's abusing his fans. Blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, your community of really loyal and just a positive bunch becomes a vicious, nasty, hostile group of people that only want from you. That will keep taking and taking and taking and show no signs of appreciation for the amount of effort and time you put in to doing what you do. And instead, and... <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and instead of reacting like other YouTubers, other walkthroughs have done in the past when the fame has got too much for them to handle, I've seen walkthroughers make us make loads of drama videos like I've got lives you guys I'm not your bitch I do what I want la 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 you're not the boss of me go suck a dick you know and and that con and then you know the the youtuber and the community are then at war you know instead of being one they become two separate clashes constantly and who wants that you know so, yeah, 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 that person instantly picked up on who that was then. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Mm. Oh, God, that was funny. Um, but, yeah, instead of reacting like that, I felt that it was... I, thought, I felt that being really careful with what I decided to do next was key because it would either make or break my YouTube career and of course why would I want my YouTube career to end it's great you know it's it's amazing it's fun it's it's positive you know it's eccentric it's active it's alive so of course I didn't want it to die you know and by saying you know fuck you guys all you want all you do is take from me blah 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 of course that's the that's that's just gonna be the final that's gonna be the the fucking nail in the coffin, my friend. That's gonna be, that's it. We're not, no, we're saying goodbye to happiness, and now we're at war. Grr, and I didn't want that, so instead, I decided to hide, <laughs> as a snake would. Um, I decided to disappear because I knew that the people that really didn't give a fuck, they were just you know content craving. They just, they just get bored of me and find someone else to uh, um, be attached to and that's exactly what's happening eventually people uh, are starting to stop now and um, I didn't want you to to become a chore to be an obligation I want it to be something I enjoy and look forward to and I do so and I, I've got I've, I've taken a step back for long enough now I think it's time for me to come back into YouTube. I mean, do you really think JTV was completely random? I don't do things randomly. Instead, I think about my decisions and what I do. I made JTV simply because it was a way of doing the same thing I enjoyed, but it would ch it would tell me some things about YouTube and about the community that just follows what I do in general. And I see I see JTV, I see the community that that watches are like you guys right now. And I'm reminded of the past. I'm reminded of um, how things used to be, you know. Back before I was. Snake, the number one popular comedian, and blah blah blah, all that crap, you know. That's a load of stupidness. I'm reminded of how it used to be when we were friends. Instead of being, like, instead of customers, basically, what it felt like in the end. We're friends again. And I like that. So. I think um, it's time to come back to YouTube and uh, restart 
while I left pretty much because um, I <laughs> how do I put this I didn't want to constantly update you guys not because I didn't care I didn't give a fuck but because I did it for a reason if I just stopped and disappeared people would start to question and people would start to complain then people would start to leave but the people that were with me from the beginning I'm, I'm sure that they would have seen me and interacted with me enough to understand why I did it and just wait it out and so by doing that you it's kind of like I'm weeding out the people that don't care the people that are just you know I don't want to say it, but annoyances, you know, it's mean, it's a mean thing to say, but it's true. And now that I've weeded them out, I can come back and have fun again. Because I'm not going to do something if it's not fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I want to keep YouTube fun, because I love it. Um, YouTube is a big part of who I am. It is. Snake is me. So of course it's going to be a big part of who I am. And so... I'm coming back to YouTube as of tomorrow and we're gonna come back into Persona 3 and it's just gonna be fucking immense <laughs> but yes that's why I've been disappeared uh, for so long that's why I've been a ghost <laughs> alright so that's the end of story time okay so uh, 